And that's pretty much all of us. But the great news is that Yahuwah always, always reveals the truth. The darkness cannot keep the light from being the light. So just as sure as the sun comes up in the morning and removes the darkness, that's what's happening now with the calendar, the real calendar of Yahuwah. If you are on the recording, watching the recording of this, the replay, and sometimes you can just kind of skip ahead, but it's all also good when you come in, drop your name, where you're coming in from. Why? Because it encourages people around the world. You can go back and watch the other replays. You see people coming in from Africa, South Africa, people coming in from Jamaica, people coming in from England, people coming in from Ireland, people coming in from Hungary, people coming in from all over the world. So drop in, if you're in the USA, Maybe drop in your city, your state, your city, your state. If you're an international country, drop in what country you're coming in from. It really encourages and helps everybody. So Portugal, see, right away. Good to see you, Robert, from Portugal. That is awesome. Theodora, look, from Trinidad and Tobago out there in the Caribbean. See how encouraging that is when people are coming on and they drop in their names? Also, make sure you hit the like button. So wherever you're at, whatever channel we're on, part of us growing as a family in Yahuwah is that we're contributing. We get the algorithm really boosting up. So what you do is you hit that like button and that hits, that makes it go up. When you hit those heart buttons, hit those love buttons, guess what happens? It makes the algorithm. It starts speaking out there in YouTube and Facebook and other platforms that we get an opportunity to go on. It starts speaking to the algorithm that people want to know. What that does for you is get what, guess what it does? It helps you with the witness. It helps you go forth and make disciples out of all nations. Your like is part of making disciples out of all nations. I want you to please join me in this. Hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, we just went over 25,000 subscribers organically on our YouTube channel. Guess what? Subscribe. Share it out. Also hit the share button. That's part of your witness. That's part of making disciples. Share it on your Facebook platform. Share it on your Instagram. Share it on your YouTube. Just share it out. Send a text to a few people with the link. So once you hit that little share button, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go over there. I'll see it with you at the same time. This is how beautiful this is, technology. Once you hit that share button, all right, that share button is right there by that like button. So hit the share button and then get it shared out. Share it to some people. Like if I hit this share button, it's going to give me options. See, right when I hit the share button, it says you can share it on WhatsApp, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Reddit, on LinkedIn, on Pinterest. Well, if you got all of those, if you're going to be a real witness for Yahoo, you should share that out. You should hit the share button and share it out. Whatever you see available there, take advantage of those options and be a witness. Some of you are really learning how to do this. So again, as you come on, drop your name, what state, what city and state you're coming in from in the USA, what country you're coming in if you're outside the USA, and you will notice that that's going to encourage a lot of people. We got Marquise from Fayetteville, North Carolina. We got Ephany. Where are you from, Ephany? Matt from Mississippi. Come on, where y'all from? Where you from? Raleigh, North YS from Raleigh, North Carolina. Hey, we got Nicoline from South Africa. Yeah, we got Theodora from Trinidad and Tobago out in the Caribbean. We got R. Anderson from Portugal. Look where they're coming in from. Isn't that awesome? We got Brian coming in from Fort Pierce, Florida, South Florida. Spent a lot of time there. Yeah, we've got Ontario, Canada. Shirley from Ontario, Canada. Canada. Emily from Maryville, Texas. we got Donna from uh, New Jersey. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. When you, for those of you watching the replay, you drop it in the comments where you're coming in from because we get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, and soon you will see it. It'll, be th it'll grow to thousands, but immediately it starts getting hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of views right when we're done. So we got a lot of people to join, but most of the people that are going to see this is going to be in the replay because this is evergreen. It's always pushing out. And what YouTube is doing, I'm watching. 
They're starting to reward us for our consistency, our messages, and our interaction. Do you want more people knowing about Yahuwah? In the chat, do y'all want more people knowing about Yahuwah? What is the thing you can do? I'm doing my thing, right? I'm out here talking. I'm speaking, teaching, preaching, evangelizing, sharing the truth. This is over 30 years that I've been on this path. I've been walking with Yahuwah for over half of that. So for almost 17 years, I've been walking with Yahuwah. I called on Yahuwah, May 2007. Hey, we got Saskatchewan, one of my favorite places. Spent a lot of time up in Regina, Saskatchewan. I love that place. We got Amber from, from uh, Central Illinois. We got Christine from Clarksville, Tennessee. We got a lot of good people we know there. Yeah. We got Emily from Maryville, Tennessee, but she's down representing in Mexico. Spread the word, spread the word. And we got some awesome flyers. Listen, we got some brochures, some witnessing brochures now, English and Spanish. Lena, please, please drop the link in the chat. All of you can print these out. Now, you want to do this on high-quality printing. This is not something you want to do from home, from your own little home printer. Send it down to Office Max, you know, Staples, something like that in your country. If you got a printing place, you want to use this on high-quality quality and lena if you if we got one here in the house could you bring that to me because i'd like to show that to people for witnessing uh purposes of witnessing we got alaska regina from alaska in here we got duran from georgia shell from ohio Woo! all right i'm getting ready to go in now we did a lot of welcomes and introductions you see the title of this one now i don't think i've ever done this I don't think I've ever done. No, I know. I've never done a live where it's just specifically about establishing the real Sabbath and teaching people. Why are we doing this today? Today is the real Sabbath. Today is the real Sabbath. Okay. So before I go in, Lena just brought me some. All right. So this is in Spanish. Do we got any English ones here? I think we do, right? All right. So this is in Spanish. It's a beautiful four, fourfold brochure. You see that? This is very, that's a high quality kind of glossy paper. That's what we're asking you to print these on. So we're not making these available for sale. We could sell these, but what we want to do is have as many of these get out there as possible, but we have a request that once you download these, you get these printed on high quality paper. This is a major witness, see? Now that right there is in Spanish, but you, if you know anybody in Spanish, every one of you should print out the English and the Spanish because they're the second most spoken language in the world is Spanish that we know of, right? Okay, so get these handed out. That's the Spanish version. So we're talking about the real Shabbat. Faustine from Delaware in the building. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, going in. We're talking about the real Sabbath. That's the English one? Lena keeps handing me stuff. All right, that's the English one. You got it? So we got this in Spanish and English. We got it. Thank you so much, baby, for handing me those. And everybody should be encouraged. Lena, she's going to drop the link down in the chat to where you guys can go print these off and grab them. People ask us about these all the time, but there you got it. All right, the real Sabbath. I'm gonna walk you through our website. I'm gonna walk you through the link. We get asked this question via email over and over and over and over again. Yep, we get asked about it over and over. We get two major questions. What scripture, quote, Bible I should use, right? And how do we, how do I keep the appointed times of Yahuwah? So what scripture do I use and how do I keep the appointed times of Yahuwah? What's the calendar? People are so confused about the calendar. The calendar is not difficult. Satan has made us feel as difficult. And there goes the link in the chat. There goes the link in the chat for those of you that need that link on how to get these brochures. So it's not difficult, okay? So look at that. Brian put in there. So bear sheet <clears throat> 114 is at the beginning. So at the foundation that teaches us about time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get these out. Marquisha, we get this necklace. We're going to make these available on the PGT store. So we're working with... <clears throat> our supplier to get these done. So everybody asked me about this necklace. We're going to help y'all get these necklaces, all right? So now I'm going in. 
I'm going to share my screen, fam. I'm going to share my screen, and we're just going to walk through the site together because at the at the company, the staff, the team is always responding pretty much the same response. They go here and read this link. This will explain to you how to keep time and how to make it make sense, okay? So here we go. We're going in. Very simple. Bam, bam, bam. We're going in. Share my screen. Very simple. So all I want to do is I want to share that one. Yeah, I want to share that one. All right. Tell me if you can see my screen. Okay. All right. Put it in the chat if you can see the screen where it says calendar of the creator. Can somebody just give me a little confirmation on that? Then I'm going to go in. All right. Thank you. Dr. David Price is in the building. Our great brother, Dr. David Price. Say so we see it. I'm just going to read it, fam. I'm just going to read it and I'm explain it. So this is what's so beautiful about it. So you're not over there guessing at all. So this is over on promotethetruth.com. Notice where it says appointed times. So if you just hover over appointed times at the top, the first link you will see is Yahoo's calendar. You click on Yahoo's calendar, it's going to bring you right to this page that I'm on. Okay? When you come to this page that I'm on, I'm just going to read it so we all get it. The calendar is one of the most important topics of our lives. Bring this microphone in here. We're going to get in. The calendar we follow determines who we serve. That's how big of a deal this is. So the calendar that we follow determines who we serve. Have you ever stopped and thought, how did we get the current Roman Gregorian calendar that we have? Have you ever stopped and thought about it? Everybody needs to answer that question. Have they ever stopped and thought? The calendar that you see now, the one, and I'm going to start saying pagan names here to call them out, to tear them down. That's the purpose, all right? So the one that you look at every day and that you deal with on your smartphone is you will see the months, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. My question to everyone listening to me is the next one. Who created this calendar that the entire world is running its lives by? Do you ever see January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December in the scriptures, even in the pagan scriptures, even in the Greek scriptures, do you ever see the words January through December on in there? Do you ever see it? No, we never see it, but it's a calendar that is running and, ru and ruling in the lives of the world. The world. Okay, on the calendar that you got to look at every day on your smartphone, it says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Do you see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday anywhere in any of your scriptures? Do you see it anywhere? No. We don't see it in the in, in, in the Greek generated scriptures. We don't see it in the Tanakh and any Hebrew or Bari and any Aramaic Aramaic. We don't see it in the Latin Vulgate. We don't see it in the Septuagint. We do not see these names. So tell me if we don't see these names, what in the world are we doing? following a timekeeping system and is telling us that we need to say these names, January for the Greek God, Janus, right? Monday for you to serve and worship the moon, not observe it for its proper thing. Tuesday, right? Tuus, Wednesday, Woden, Thursday, Thor, Friday, Friga, Saturday, Saturn, oh, the big one, Sunday, Dia Sol, 
serve the sun. That entire Roman Gregorian calendar is to get you to worship and follow the sun god, a.k.a. Jesus, a.k.a. Jesus, also known as Jesus. That's what that whole calendar is designed to get you to do is to follow a pagan mighty one. So let me move on now that I've established that point. How are we to keep track of time? How we are, how we are to keep track of time was established by the creator, Yahuwah, in the beginning of time. Here is scripture proof of how Yahuwah expects us to keep time. Leader, we got to update this. The true scripture's got to be in here. We got to update that like right now. Because <laughs> that's, that's how awesome this is. We wrote this even before we start translating the true scriptures. That's how awesome this is. This is great. You guys are going to get a treat today. Y'all going to see us update this site in real time. <laughs> I'm going to stop sharing my screen because I don't want to get it twisted. Not even a little bit. All right. So isn't this great? This is what you call live. Live. You got to hang in. You got to get with it. Later, make sure you pay attention to the uh, chat. So we're going to do an update. Live and in effect. Woo! All right, we're going live and in effect. Yeah, man. Boom. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go. So I'm just updating this because we got to do it in live time. Because y'all got, I want y'all to see it. I want y'all to see it. I don't want y'all to guess. I don't want y'all to hope. I don't want y'all to wish. I want you to see it. Yes, I do. So if y'all bear with me, I'm literally going to get this straight. Now, bear with me, fam. And I apologize. I should have already went through this, but I, we just give it out so much. Like we like this goes out so much, but it needs to be updated. So it's got the true scriptures version in there. Whenever we can utilize that, we want to put that in there, right? When y'all agree that we can get even the most accurate translations, we want to get that in there. Hallelujah. So we live and in effect on here to make sure you get the truth. So y'all part of this today because that's how we get to the truth. We scrub it. We scrub it. We make sure everything is tight. And that's what we're going to be doing with Promote the Truth is Yahuwah gives us revelation and gives us more clarity in this crazy world that Satan has been running, ruling, but his time is short. He knows it. It's almost up. Almost up. Yes, it is. All right, I'm getting close, fam. I'm getting this straight for y'all. But as again, if you're here, make sure you're hitting the smash the like button. You sharing this out against all around all your platforms? Yeah, get it shared out while we get this updated. We're almost there. I'm sending this over to the team. We got P. We got Team B watching this too, y'all. Y'all gotta give a big shout out to the Promote the Truth team because they really work hard for the world, for the word to the world. I should say they work hard for the word to the world. They're not playing. They believe in this. They, they got their lives on this. So getting this message over. We getting there. We're getting messages back. We're getting close. Yes, sir. Getting messages back. Getting close. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right don't know if it'll be just perfect but it'll be it right in there we might have to tweak it up staff might have to tweak that up but i'm going back in are y'all ready for this i'm going back in i'm going right back in not even playing Yes, as my grandfather would say in the South. Yes, indeed. 
Yes, indeed. He going back here right now. Bam. All right. Going back in. Y'all tell me when y'all see the screen again, and you should see bear sheet 1, 14 through 19. They had it through 18. I said, no, put 19 on there to complete it up. Do y'all see it? Give me a shout out. Give me a quick shout out. All right. Thank you, Dr. David. Thank you, Lena. So backing back up, how we are to keep track of time was established by the creator, Yahuwah, in the beginning of time. Here is scripture proof of how Yahuwah expects us to keep time. Bear a sheep, sign name Genesis. Sign name just means pagan name. 1, 14 through 19. 14. And Alua said, let there be lights in the expanse of the heavens to divide the day from the night. And let these lights be for signs and for appointed times and for days and years. So the purpose of these lights are for sure what Yahuwah said. He said that it would be for signs. Now, guess what, fam? Nobody has really looked at this one. The word signs. What do y'all think he means when he says signs? See, most people are looking all over the place. What's, let me look for a sign. How about the sign be who's the one that's keeping this? Oh, yeah. I believe the most specific part of the word let the lights be for signs. It, I believe it is a sign between me and my people. So me and my people, this is going to be a sign of who really follows me. This is going to be a great sign, and I can prove that in detail over in Shamut later on if we got time. For appointed times, everybody that follows Scripture knows what the appointed times are, as they are stated in Uruk, chapter 23. It's the Feast of Yahuwah, his appointed times, including his new moon day and including the Shabbat. We all know, all right? What's the next one <clears throat> that these lights are used for? For days, okay. That's calendation, fam. As soon as you see days, then you know that that involves the calendar. And years, you know that involves the calendar. Verse 15, and let them be lights in the expanse of the heavens to give light upon the earth. And it was so. Verse 16, and Alua made the, made the two great lights. The greater light was called the sun to rule the day. To rule the what? To rule the day. And the lesser light was called the moon to do what? To rule the night and the stars. So we got the purpose of the sun is to rule the day. The purpose of the moon is to rule the night and the stars. Now pay attention. Verse 17, and Alua set them in the expanse of the heavens to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. So Yahuwah wants a separation. I talked about this several days ago. Yahuwah is commanding us to separate the day from the night. Do not call the night day. Do not call the day night. You see, he wants it clear. Otherwise, he wouldn't say, and to divide the light from the darkness. And Alua saw that it was good. Verse 19 in the real translation is critical. This completed the fourth day. Pay attention, fam. Then evening and morning came. This formed the fourth date. Not the fourth day, the fourth date. The day was made up of the sunlight hours, the light hours. The night was made up of the dark hours. Yahushua said, are there not 12 hours in a day? So, when you add the day and the night, you get a date. So you can go back and look at that date on, on a calendar. You got it? Perfect. 
So that makes sense. The calendar should be one of the easiest things to know and understand. However, over the course of time, Lena, tell the staff to make these letters bigger down below to match up, up above. The calendar should be one of the easiest things to know and understand. However, over the course of time, Hashatan, Satan, has put much effort into changing the calendar, thus misleading the world. Y'all got that? Yahuwah, the creator, made calculating time rather simple. He made his, capitalize his there, Lena, for the staff. They, he made his timekeeping mechanisms where no human could alter it. Scripture validates this. Bear a sheet, sign named Genesis 114. And the Lord said, let the lights come to be in the expanse of the heavens to separate the day from the night and let them be for signs and appointed times and for days and for years. There we have it in plain language, in plain sight, straight from the scriptures. The light spoken of in this verse refer to the sun and the moon. No human can manipulate the sun or the moon. Thus, no human can manipulate Yahuwah's calendar. Does that make sense to everybody? Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah. Then put this link, put the Yahuwah calendar link in the, in the chat for the folks here. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm reading straight from the website, by the way, underneath the point of time. That's where I'm reading from. So everybody's got access to this 24 hours a day. Everything that I'm reading, that's why this is important. See, Yah truth will set you free. That's why it's important because we keep sending it out. But if I do a teaching on it and now it gets evergreen, right, and we put some marketing to it and we get thousands of people to see it, we're going to make some big changes. All right, here we go. The... Here we go. Even though it was predicted in Daniel, that sign named Daniel, 725. So Daniel, Daniel, he predicted that this would happen with the calendar. That Satan, through the beast power, Roman Catholic Church, would think to change times and laws. And when you read Daniel 725, it literally says that the beast power is going to think to change times and laws. And it's happened. They done set up, they done jacked the calendar up, and they done set aside Yahuwah's commandments. So there's your times and your laws. They done try to, they done trample over both. Yahuwah has always provided us a way to keep proper track of time. If we truly desire to follow his ways, though, that's the key. Do you truly desire to follow Yahuwah's ways? Now, I got to stop. I got to make a point. I got to make a point there. In the scriptures, it says that his people will be a peculiar people. Oh, yeah. It says his people will be a peculiar people. How many of you heard that before? Huh? Who's heard that before? A peculiar people. I want to I I bring your attention to that. A peculiar people. Yeah. Let's go over to, to first Kappa. 2, verse 9. First copper, 2. That's Peter. Verse 9. Let's go over there and see what first copper 2, verse 9 says. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a set-apart nation, a people for a possession, a peculiar people that you should proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Who were once not a people, but now the people of Alua, who had not obtained compassion, but now have obtained compassion. Do you want Yahuwah's compassion? Huh? Then you got to be peculiar. You got to be set apart. This calendar that I'm teaching you today will set you apart. You'll be set apart when you follow what I'm teaching you today. You'll be that remnant that the scriptures talks about. You'll be in that narrow path that leads to eternal life. You'll stay away from that broad path that leads to destruction. The current calendar 
and all the calendars that are out there that are not following this method of time calculation are the broad gate. Keep going. This page is here to provide you a simple method of tracking time by utilizing the calendar of the creator, Yahuwah, based on the moon and the sun. That would be called lunar solar timekeeping. Think about it. Centuries ago, humans on Earth did not have a smartphone or a computer to keep track of time. The earliest humans and many throughout time kept time based upon the moon and the sun, lunar, solar. This is how it's supposed to be. This is what we and several other truth promoters are helping to restore. Are you part of the truth promoters? Is that you? Here's how it works. The first day of each month is called New Moon Day. Each new moon establishes a new month. As a matter of fact, the word moon is derived from the word month. All one has to do in understanding time is understand when the moon, the, the new moon, new month begins. Simply look up at the sky as the people of old did. And when we can see, and we can see when the new moon, new month is about to begin. Pay close attention. So on our site, we've told everybody, here is where you got to pay close attention. New Moon Day begins the following dawn, first sunlight, after the moon's conjunction. Conjunction simply means no light at all. So no light at all. When the moon has no light at all, just look up there. It's like, I can't see it at all. Not even a slither. All right? Pay attention. After the moon's conjunction, it means no light with the sun has happened for the entire world. This is what sets our calendar that we've, cre that we've taken out of scripture apart from everything else we've seen in the world. And we've scrubbed this forwards and backwards, upside and down. Man, since 2008 have we scrubbed this. So we had to really come to the conclusion that Yahuwah mean for the entire world to be as one. He said, Yahushua said, Father, I pray that they be one as you and I are one. So in order for us to be one in the word and to keep the, the, the appointed times in order, we have to keep the calendar the way we are teaching you right here. All right, for the entire world. Now watch this. Conjunction is when the sun and the moon are completely lined up together and there is no light given at all from the moon to the world. When there is no light given from the moon to the entire world, this is the last day of the month conjunction. Y'all with me? Is this helping anybody? Is this helping anybody? Because I'm making this very simple, very clear. When, when, the, when there's, there's, a, there's going to be a time every month around the world to where the, on the same day. So, for example, when, the, when, it, when, when it just cracked this morning, when it just cracked the light this morning in Australia, which they get it first, when it just cracked over there, it was Tuesday in Australia, and now it begins to progress, but all the way around to us in the West, right? Where does the sun rise from? The East, and it goes to the West. Family, are y'all catching this? The sun rises out of the east. The furthermost part we can find is Australia. And then they get it first, but they're going to start it on Tuesday this time. Why is Australia starting on Tuesday on the Gregorian calendar? Because last week on Tuesday, 
was the new moon day. Y'all follow what I'm saying? The new moon day is because on Monday for the entire world, last Monday, for the entire world, the moon was completely dark. Last Monday. I'm going really small and deep on this, fam. I'm scrubbing y'all. Huh? I'm scrubbing with you. All the way scrubbing here, fam. I'm going all the way back. I'm telling you that last Monday on the Gregorian calendar, so nobody's confused, I'm going to name it out. So on November 13th on the Gregorian calendar, if you go research this, you will find that from Australia all the way on the other side of the world to the west, it, the moon gave no light at all that day. So that made that following dawn on Tuesday when the sun just cracked in Australia, when it just cracked, bam. Now we got new moon day. But it's, it's the same thing for us in the west. It's going to just crack on that Tuesday. So now the whole world, based on this calendation, is on the same Shabbat. The whole world, based on this calendation, will be on the same new moon day. The whole world, based on this calendation, will be on the same Passah, the same Passover. The whole world. Do you want your brothers and sisters to be on a different Passover system than you are? Do you want your brothers and sisters to be on a different Matzah, Feast of Unleavened Bread, than you? Do you want them to be on a different first fruits than you? Do you want them to be on a different Feast of Weeks, Shavuot, than you? Do you want them to be on a different Feast of Trumpets than you? Do you want them to be on a, a different Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement, than you? Do you want them to be on a different Sakut, Feast of Tabernacles, than you? See, if you want that, then you're going against what Yahushua pray. If you accept something different, you're accepting, let us not be one, as Yahushua prayed. That's what you're doing. So we're here to tear it down. Y'all got to excuse my passion. I'm here to tear it down, put some fire in you to stand for the truth, promote the truth. That's why we called the platform Promote the Truth, because we're going to have to stand up on the front line. We want everybody to stand together. I know we got brothers and sisters right now on here from different parts in the world, and guess what we get to say to everybody? Shabbat Shalom. Hallelujah. I get to say to my brothers and sisters, Shabbat Shalom. All over the world. Do y'all know when we didn't have calendation like this, there would be times half the world, you'd be saying, Shabbat Shalom. And they'd be like, well, we had that yesterday. What kind of unity is that? There ain't no unity. Who would devise it to be that way? Wouldn't it be the dark one, Shatan? Okay, back to the page. Hallelujah. Look at y'all got me fired up. Now, I'm going to go back. Pay close attention. New moon day begins the following dawn after the moon's conjunction. No light with the sun has happened for the entire world. We're clear on that now. Conjunctions when the sun and the moon are completely lined up together and there is no light given at all from the moon to the world. When there is no light given from the moon to the entire world, this is the last day of the month called conjunction. Here is a simple explanation of what the moon's conjunction means. Quote, a lunar moon conjunction is when the sun, moon, and earth are directly in line. Because, when, because the sun is behind the moon, no sunlight is reflected from the lunar face. The moon is a total blackout during conjunction. No part of the moon can be seen in an astronomical conjunction. Once you can no longer see any light reflected from any part of the moon, look at what we've got here on the website for you. We got it for you. You see, we're showing you last day. That means you can see no part. See, guess where some people send us notes in? They go, oh, you're following NASA. We go, you're out of your mind. Because NASA calls New Moon Day the last day. See, NASA does it all dark, not us. 
not promote the truth, not the followers of real Yahuwah. The, the full dark moon is not the new moon. It's the, la it's the complete finishing. You got that? So when you can no longer see light reflected from any part of the moon, blacked out, then you know that is the last day of the month. The next upcoming dawn morning would then be new moon day, which begins a new month. Simple. Is that simple, fam? Is that simple, fam? Huh? That's simple. Hallelujah. That's simple. You are going to get great. Now we're going to edify you. Because some of y'all are like, oh, man, this is different. Jay, this is different. I know it. But this is what sets you apart. You remember he said this is going to be for signs. This part, what I'm going to read now, is for your edification. You are, going to be, you are going to get great at paying attention to the moon. Just like we are. We're great at it. Once you do, you will have mastered how to never be fooled by Hashatan again when it comes to the true calendar of the creator. Never. You'll never. Now, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me make a side note here. There are some people that purport to say that the new moon is the full moon. They say, see, look at this all new. It's all wax. Look at that. Well, guess what? The world can't tell the difference because sometimes that new, that full moon looks that way for two or three days. You see, if we just simply say, when that moon is completely dark, which everybody can tell around the world, you, but you got to be paying attention to it. You got to be paying attention as it's fading down. See, as it's lighting up right now, all of you need to get good at going outside and looking up. You know what that's going to do? It's going to pull you to creation. It's going to smash evolution out of your children and out of the systems. You're going to be looking up and checking out. When? Is the, when, when, when what's, where am I at in the month? That's how you're going to know how to tell time. So you're going to get great at this. And you're never going to be fooled by, by Hashatan again. When it comes to the true calendar of the creator, we will go over some specifics how to keep track of the course of each new month. But before we do, we must help you understand how to begin to break free from being tied to the fake calendar, which practically the entire current world follows. The current world calendar is called the Gregorian calendar, which was named after Pope Gregory. Are y'all followers of the Pope? Is that your Mashiach? Huh? Because they say he is the most high, the Pope. They say he is. Is that who, you're, is that who you call on? Well, when you pay homage and try to give credence, like some people do, let's just take the Saturnarians. So those who believe that the Sabbath is on the Gregorian Saturday, Saturn's day. And they believe it starts on Friga day, on Friday in the evening and ends on the evening of Saturn's day. See, you're following the Gregorian calendar with that mess. The Gregorian calendar runs on a continuous seven-day week. This is how to get your brain free, because most people can't get past this continual seven-day week thing. Most people think it's a continuous seven-day week without interruption and without any ties to nature, the moon and the sun. That's what most people think. They think that the calendar has no ties to nature. They're completely ignoring Barashit Genesis chapter 1, verse 14 through 19. They're just ignoring it. Forget it. And then guess what? You're not set apart. You haven't paid attention to get your sign, to get your mark. This is part of your mark for the good way. Revelation, Hazum. We need to update that, Lena, put Hazum there. Thank you. Tell the staff that. Hazum, Revelation 12, 9 says that Hashatan and his messengers go about and they deceive the entire world. The changing of the calendar is one of the many ways Hashatan has pulled off this massive deception. This deception and the use of the Gregorian calendar is against the calendar of the creator, Yahuwah, as he never intended for time to be, to be kept 
on a, a continual seven-day cycle. That continual seven-day cycle is your programming to get you to get away from creation. That continual seven-day cycle, even in your brain to reason it out, you've been stamped, you've been stamped, but the people of old, they weren't stamped. They knew to watch that moon, and they knew. Yahuwah spoke through the prophet Yeshua in Yeshua 66, verses 23, 24. What did he say? And from one Shabbat to the next Shabbat, from one new moon to the next new moon, all people will come to worship before me. If you think that he ain't serious about this new moon stuff, then you're calling Yeshua Yahoo when Yahuwah spoke to him a lie. Let it go. Y'all better drop it. You won't see Yahuwah with that thought process. Okay, we keep going. Yahuwah, the creator, through his word, wants us to keep the calendar based upon his creation. He wouldn't have done it in Barashit if he didn't want us to keep it that way. His calendar is non-continual. As this helps keep our attention on him. People go, what's the purpose? It's to help keep your attention. How is a human's attention span? It's microwave mentality, right? When you have to pay attention to the moon, it keeps you on point with your creator. That's what we're saying here. Therefore, back to the writing, his creation mechanisms for time, the moon and the sun, are so vitally important for keeping proper track of the calendar. In fact, the moon and the sun are the only true mechanism for the true calendar of the creator. This is beautiful because every month, New moon causes us to stop and acknowledge Yahuwah as creator. That's the purpose. Each new moon, new month, also allows us to reflect on the accomplishments of the prior month and to give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks the proper thanks. Not this pagan thanks that's about to come up here in a couple of days. Not this killing thanks, worshiping of slaughtering thanks. That's what Thanksgiving is. Oh, wait till, I, wait till tomorrow. Y'all come back tomorrow. When I do one on Thanksgiving, when I tell you how the Gadim people, that's the Native Americans, they come from the 12 tribes, Gad, that's Gadim, one of Yaakov, Jacob's sons, and we done tracked his lineage all the way, and I'll show you a video, how like me, which I am, I think about a third Cherokee Indian, how the Cherokee Indians had the word of Yahuwah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go in on that. Don't go too deep now, Jay. Hold on. Y'all got to make me hold on. <laughs> Each new moon allows us to give thanks to Yahuwah for keeping us in him. How many of y'all want to say hallelujah, Yahuwah, on this Shabbat for keeping us in him? How many of you want to say hallelujah, Yahuwah, for keeping us in him? That's what this calendar will do, it will help keep you in him. Now I'm gonna give you some specifics. Now I'm gonna give you some, I'm going Duran, I'm going brother Duran, we love you Duran. Yeah, Duran is one of our great supporters of to Promote the Truth. Yes he is, specifics. The calendar of the creator utilizes months that total either 29 or 30 days, okay? Determining the last day of the month, 29th or 30th, is very simple. All right, it's very simple. Whenever the moon is the darkest for the entire world, that's that conjunction we talked about, that is the last day of the month every time. Y'all got that? In months where the last day of the month is the 29th day, the new moon day falls on the day, the dawn, after the 29th day. In months where the last day of the month is the, th is the 30th day, the new moon day falls on the day, dawn, after the 30th day. Simple. Once you have new moon day, then you will have four complete weeks of seven days that follow. Six work days. Then the Shabbat, the Sabbath on the real calendar. This is what's awesome. 
the, the Sabbath on the real calendar will always fall on the 8th, the 15th, the 22nd, and the 29th of the lunar solar months. You know what's beautiful about this? And people go, well, why is it 29 or 30 days? Ask Yahuwah. Sometimes he has that moon creep along, and it finishes out completely being dark on 29 days. That's what Yahuwah set up. That's why it can't be a continual seven days. Because your, your creator, our creator, set it up like that. You going to argue with Yahuwah? I see people arguing with Yahuwah. I'm like, all right, y'all, I'm going to leave that alone. Sometimes he has it creep along, and you'll see it. It'll be on the 30th day. So after the new moon day, you'll see it creep along, and it will finally get completely dark on the 30th day. It will never, ever, never, ever, ever, ever get completely dark on the 28th day. Ever. Never, ever. It will never, ever, 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 ever get completely dark on some 31st day that's made up. It will never do it. Ever. It will always get completely dark 29 days after the new moon or 30 days after the new moon. It's always going to do it. Forever. Now, let me tell you a great witness. Y'all ready for a great witness? <laughs> In the scriptures, you go run a search on this. Whenever you see the eighth day, so what did it say? In, in the new moon, on the eighth day, oh, here you go. On the, sec, on the eighth day of the second new moon, something like that. On the 14th day of the first new moon. Right? It'll say stuff like that. All right? Whenever you see the word 8, 15, 22, 29 mentioned in the scriptures, it's always a Sabbath. It's always a Shabbat. Hallelujah! Is that a witness or is that a witness? You never ever see in the scriptures any other day from the new moon day, never do you see from front to back, from Bereshit to Hazun, Revelation, from Genesis to Revelation, you never see it fall on the seventh day. You never see it on the third day. You never see it on the 16th day. You never see it. Even take Passah, the Passover, right? Feast of Unleavened Bread starts on the 15th day of the first new moon. And that's the Shabbat. <laughs> Is this crazy? Is this awesome? This is amazing. And who do y'all know is really teaching this? Family, will y'all give me some feedback? Who do y'all know is really, really, really going in teaching this? Oh, we got our biggest attendance today, by the way. Hallelujah. Good to see everybody here. Biggest attendance on any live we've done. We're growing. The algorithm is working. Everybody hit the like button. Hit the like button. Everybody make sure you subscribe. Everybody make sure you share it to at least two or three people. If you hit the share button, you'll notice. See, I told everybody paid attention in the beginning. People start sharing it on their Facebook. People will share it in their WhatsApp. People will share it on their Instagram. People will share it on their Twitter. Some people will share it on their Reddit. Then you have people sharing it on their Pinterest. Some people share it on their LinkedIn. If y'all just share it to one or two key places, you're going to bring the world out of this fog. The shaitan is done. Cheryl, how you feeling about this? Dr. David, how are you feeling about what I'm teaching? And again, fam, it's not on the Gregorian. Thank you, Dr. David. When y'all hear me say 8th, 15th, 22nd, 29th, not on the Gregorian calendar. See, as soon as your brain thinks that way, that means you hooked. And you got to be humble, go, Yahuwah, deliver me from this black, dark, dark, deepest dark programming that I've got in me. Deliver me. I said from the real calendar, and I'm going to show you the real calendar here in a minute. How many of y'all want me to show you the real calendar, right? How many of you want me to show it to you? I'm going to show it to you. We done the work for you. Yeah. I love y'all, man. This feedback is incredible. Is this helping y'all? Because I'm going to go finish if y'all, I want some feedback though. If I'm out of bounds, if y'all think I'm in left field, then go on and put it in here. 
We're not here to argue. Just be honest and say, I don't agree with this, and then exit the building. Because we've been studying this way since 2008. 2007, I didn't even have it when I first found Yahuwah. But because I loved him with all my might, all my soul, all my strength, he then showed us the truth. He said, come out of her, my people. Come out. And see, once you get this, it's going to be like scales come off your eyes like it did with Shaul. Today is a scales coming off of people's eyes day. How many of y'all would agree? Hallelujah. So I'm back over here. I'm going to break it down so we get everybody on the same page because I've got the empathy and the understanding and the love. I'm your brother. I am your brother. Y'all should be praying for me. I've been on this walk for many years, real, real lonely on this journey for many years. When I found Yahuwah, you couldn't find his name on Google. 2007, it wasn't there. Two or three sites on Yahoo is all it was. Family thought I was nuts. Pastors called me crazy. I've been called a demon. I've been called a, that sound familiar? I've been called a scammer. I've been called a demon. I've been called a deceiver. I've been called, you want to know why? Because I bear the truth. Because I'm like my daddy, Yahuwah. When he came to the earth as Yahusha, I follow my daddy and my Mashiach. He said, if they called me a demon, they'll call you one. No servant is greater than the master. Oh, yeah. You come and get this truth, you gonna get, You think we don't get persecution? You are out of your mind. Some of the highest powers in this world have come after us. But guess what? Yahuwah said, I'll prepare. Most people think in, in Talim, uh, Psalm 23. Talim 23, when Daud. I should say, do we? David is talking. He said he'll prepare what? A table in the midst of your enemies? The correct, wait till y'all see the correct translation. It's not a table. He won't prepare a table in the midst of your enemy. Y'all ready for this? The correct translation. He will prepare a banquet in the midst of your enemy. Woo! Yahuwah will prepare a banquet. You will have a feast. In the presence of your enemies. They'll be wanting to kill you. They'll be throwing spears at you. They'll be doing all kind of stuff. But Yahuwah will say, guess what? You can, you can try him. You can persecute him. You can ridicule him. But you can't take his life. Oh, no. Yeah. Come on, meditate. She said, Yahuwah. I'm going back in. So to clarify for everybody. Oh, Y'all got to deal with my passion because I love Yahuwah. The 8th, the 15th, the 22nd, and the 29th. Always, always on the lunar solar calendar, the real calendar. So today, for example, is the real ninth month of the year. How do we know this is the real ninth month? They couldn't even cover it up with the Gregorian calendar. They call... On the Gregorian calendar, they say November, right? They say November, which is after Nove, Nueve. In Latin, what's Nueve? Ninth. So they're calling the 11th month, they're calling the ninth month, the 11th month on the Gregorian calendar. How dumb is that? Right? October, Octa, right? They literally are saying it, right? They call it the 10th month when it's the 8th month. September, Septa, that's 7th. They call that the ninth month when it's the 7th month. It's the dumbest thing you've ever seen, and the whole world is following after it like mummies. Like the walking dead, people just walking around. And I was one of them. I was a person that was blind, but now I see. That's the amazing grace. That's the amazing grace. So today, go ahead, Stone Dodgers got it. <laughs> Y'all look in the chat. Today is the what day of the what month? This is the ninth month of the year. How do we know? We went back. We saw the Aviv happen. We were right there at Passah. We knew 
but watching the be watching the new times of the year, keeping track of the calendar all through the year. We knew when the first new moon was based on Yahoo's signs and it's t- telling times, right? And now we've just kept track of it. That's how we know what's up because we've been watching it. We've been paying attention. We've been obedient. And through our obedience, many of y'all going to get set free. And through your obedience, many other people will get set free. But you got to be obedient. So today is the eighth, eighth day of the ninth real month. And guess what's going to happen? Seven days from now, next quote, Tuesday, it'll be the 15th day of the new moon. Hallelujah. We're going back in. I'm going back to the keep in mind part. I'm back where it says keep in mind. That's going to answer the question that somebody had in the chat. Keep in mind. Y'all going to make me get something to drink first. Got some good apple juice today. And some ice in it too. It's good. Keep in mind that these Sabbath dates, 8th, 15th, 22nd, and 29th, can fall on different days and dates on the Roman Gregorian calendar because the Roman, because the Gregorian calendar is always continuous without any ties to the moon or the sun, which is against the word of Yahuwah. For example, if the lunar solar new moon falls on a Wednesday on the Gregorian calendar, the next four Sabbaths will always fall on a Wednesday as well. Simple. After the last Sabbath, you will look for the new moon to reset for the upcoming new month. See, we know, right? We know. Next week, guess what it's going to be? It's going to be full moon. Next, Shabbat, look up in the sky. It's going to be full moon. Then the next one's going to be the 22nd. Then the next one's going to be the 29th, and everybody's going to be paying attention on 29th because we're like, the month's about to end. Is it going to end today on the 29th? But if we see a little sliver of light left, we're going, nah, it's going to go one more day. That's how we do it. Here we go. After the last Sabbath, you will look for the new moon to, to reset the upcoming new month. Thus, new moon day will happen the following day after the fourth Sabbath of the month. If there are 29 days in that month or new moon day will happen two days after the fourth Sabbath of the month, if there are 30 days in that month. Simple. No need to get confused. You will learn this like the back of your hand, edifying you. You can do it. Remember, you will be observing the real calendar based upon the calendar of the creator, Yahuwah, which is based upon the moon and the sun, lunar solar. Now, I'm going to do another training on the year. I'm not going to do it here. I'm going to do another training on the year because the sun and the moon are off on different times. They're, rot- uh, they're doing the rotation. So I'm going to break all this down for y'all, all right? But for now, I gave you enough today. Now, at this link, let's pop this link in again. I'm gonna, let's pop this link in. The, I'm going to put it in here. I'm putting it in the chat because everybody scroll to the bottom. Real calendar of Yahuwah. Staff, send that message over, okay? Real calendar of Yahuwah. Y'all send that message over. Or do y'all want me to take it? I can do it over here. I'll do it. Bam. So there's the real calendar of Yahuwah. I put the link in the chat. You scroll down to the bottom, you'll be on the same thing I'm on. You got it? So we see, looking back last year, I mean this year, 23rd, July, August, September, these pagan months, right? October, where we at now? We're in November, right there in the middle of the screen. Right there in the middle of the screen. Yeah, we're there. Okay. You see there, November? Now, look what we did for y'all on this calendar to teach you how to watch the moon. It, we, we put pictures of what the moon will look like for you. Y'all got that? We put pictures of what the moon will look like throughout each day so you can go outside and get good at watching how it happens. So you will notice that the 13th, like I said, was the last day. The 14th, right, was new moon day. 
the 21st of November, for example, is the first Shabbat of the real ninth month. So now for when y'all are working, so look, if you go here, you hover over this, and then you right click on it. If you just right click on it, then you will be able to save the image of that particular month. So if you right click, it's not showing on my screen here, but if you right click, it says save image as. You can put November 2023 in your phone. So that way you're not missing these days, you know what's going on. You do the same for December. Now, what you see here, we're building this into an app. We would have already had this done had not the people that almost had it done, it was partners that got into an argument. That's why we know this is a big project. One second. I got a message coming. One second. All right. So um, we almost had that done. The partners split up. One partner's got part of our stuff over here and over there. So we're going to have to go back, it looks like, and pay for this thing all over again. That's one of the ways when you support like the True Scriptures Project, part, part of that involves the calendar. It'll help accelerate us having to repay again all this crazy money we spent. We got to repay again to get this calendar done. How many of y'all want the calendar app done ASAP? Anybody want, along with the True Scriptures of Britta Dosh, how many of y'all want the calendar app done ASAP? Anybody? Anybody want this calendar app done ASAP? All right, so that's another reason when you support and promote the truth, you're helping with all these projects that we got going on. It's monumental. It's not little. It's monumental because we got to teach the programmers how to keep track of real time, and they got to program it out. And we already had the example. Lena, I would love to be able to see if the, the one that was almost done, can we get the team to get us access to get, or do we take any screenshots of that? I think, Lenny, you took some screenshots. So if you took those screenshots, please share those with me because we almost had it done. It's crazy. I hope we took some screenshots. Anyway, we need your help, guys. To help accelerate this again, it's a big project. We need your help. TSNT.org will help us out. But just go down here and then you can print the calendar out. And if you don't want to look at this, I should say, if you feel like you got this down, here's another thing you can do. You can go down here and go, all right, I don't need any help up here. You could go down here to the bottom and you could just print these out and then you get used to following it and see how accurate you become by printing these out down here at the bottom. You'll see how accurate that you became in actually following time. So we gave you two ways. We gave you the cheat sheet. That's right there. That's up at the top towards the bottom. And you just click and save as. So stop sharing my screen. <laughs> how we do? On this Shabbat, how we do? Do we learn a lot? Yeah, do we learn a lot? Is everybody going to agree? No way everybody's going to agree. Are we going to argue with anybody? Not anybody. We're not arguing with nobody. We believe what we believe what we believe. Unless Yahuwah show us any, something crazy different, there it is. Love you too, cold searcher. Love you too. So I want y'all to help us, man. That's it. So here we go. Some people are asking, what do I do on Shabbat? Well, you don't do any business. It's supposed to rest. Yahuwah said he rested. He worked for six days. Notice he says six days. Yahuwah, wouldn't, he would have said, I work for six days and nights. Right? Like when they said Yahusha was in the belly. Like, like Yuna was in the belly of the well. Three days, three nights. See, they're very specific. When, they're, when they want night to be involved. Yahuwah is very specific if he wants you to involve the night for some type of thing. There's a couple of times on Pesach and on Day of Atonement, Yom Kippur, he wants you to start the evening before. But he tells you. Huh? He, he's going to tell you. Bruja Benson, I'm the same way. So from, from 2007 into 2008, we was doing the Friday to Saturday deal. That's what we knew. But guess what you hooked on when you do that? You now are participating with the Pharisees. When you keep Shabbat, Friday to Saturday, you have followed, followed the Talmud 
you're keeping Pharisees, and now you get thrown into those that call themselves Yahudim, but are not, but are from the synagogue of Satan. Don't play with it. When Yahuwah shows you, you better run to the truth. You better run. They can't prove it. You can't prove Friday to Saturday in the scriptures. You can't do it. We tear it down with the Passah, and we tear it down with the Day of Atonement, because he mentions two days, right? He'll say the 14th and the 15th. Go back at the Passah. He'll say on the first new moon, on the 14th, is when you begin to pass over to the 15th, when you end it in the evening. Go over to the Day of Atonement. He'll say in the seventh month, right? On Beginning on the ninth day of the month, until the 10th day of the month. The day of atonement, the day of atonement, he calls it the 10th. The actual day of atonement, he calls it the 10th. So he don't call it the night. Simple. So people say, what do you do? You do not work. You rest. You don't work. You do no business transactions. You don't, you don't go out and do any business. You don't buy. You don't sell. That's why we know the new moons are valid. That's how we know it. Because the people were screaming and so mad at the gates, they wouldn't open up the gates on New Moon Day and on Shabbat. Because people, we know. And some people say, well, Jay, isn't that like eight days with the New Moon? Somebody sent an email in. For those of you that asked that, no. The New Moon Day is a type of Sabbath. Except you can cook on New Moon Day. Study the scriptures. You can cook on New Moon Day. You can't do any buying or any selling on New Moon Day. On the Sabbath, which is today, no buying, no selling, no cooking. And if you're going to move around, he says, kind of keep it a Sabbath day walk, which means stay within your gates, stay within your neighborhood walking around. Don't be driving. It's basic stuff. That's why they call the day before preparation day. So you cook like my wife yesterday. I watched her. She was in the kitchen. She cooked Food for today, yesterday. It's sitting there in the kitchen now, right? People ask about warming up, all right? You don't cook, you don't light fires on New Moon Day. But you can warm things up. Best you see fit. Don't get no, just don't cook. Don't cook it from scratch. Dr. Davis said he made his baked chicken, all right? So that's very simple. And just chill out. He said, what about taking my daughter to school? Y'all going, y'all asking my opinion. I'm just giving you my opinion from the scriptures. We homeschool. So we, we don't have to deal with traditional school. But we have people that follow Yahuwah, call on his name, have their kids in school. They have went to the schools. They presented the school with the letter. They say, this is our religious beliefs. And on these days, my daughter or my son will not be able to attend for our religious beliefs. And every time the school goes, we understand. Because they know you can sue their tail off if they don't do it. But most people are too scared. Like, oh, my gosh. Guess what? That's even with your job. People go, well, my job, Jay. You can't be discriminated against for your race or your religion, or your sex. Remember that? I'm giving y'all the, I'm giving y'all the clearance for those of y'all that are, are tied into the world. Y'all got that? I'm giving you that. You got to go in and assert your rights. And now here's the deal. If it can't work out that way, you're going to have to learn how to make money and have to school without you being attached to the beast system. Per the scriptures, Yahuwah says, in Matik Yahoo chapter six. What you doing worrying? You think I won't take care of you? So look at the birds of the field. Look at the lilies. Even Shalomah, Solomon wouldn't dress as good as them. You think he won't take good? You think he won't take care of you? That's based on your faith. You can choose whether you're going to serve Yahuwah or Baal. You got a choice to make. This is promote the truth. And I'm here to tell y'all. I can't tell you what your tickling ears want to hear. Oh, no, 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 no. I got to tell you the truth because Yahuwah is holding me accountable now that I'm out here giving you this word. Yahuwah is saying, choose who you're going to serve. And he's telling you, 
only a remnant, only a small, only a few are going to find the truth and then follow it. Most people even hear my voice. You're not going into eternal life. Not because Yahuwah don't want you to go, because you won't choose to do it. Many are called, but few choose it. Not are chosen. You got to choose it. Simple. Are y'all good? All right. I think this did good enough for the Shabbat. I like to keep them around an hour on the Shabbat. Hopefully y'all can do what you need to do. I'm praying in the name of Yahuwah, you do what you need to do. I want y'all to do everything in your power to, to contribute over at tsnt.org. Why? Because we have the, the real new Brita Dash coming out. It's the real one. So we're translating from the Aramaic and the Hebrew. There's like four different books that are in Hebrew from the, from the New Testament. Brita Dash is the real name. So we're translating that. But this project is, is getting accelerated. We got a seven-week program to where we're doing a push to, to get everything up. We want to get in that mix. We want the calendar app started to get reprogrammed. We want that done. We want advertising to get out there. Look what we did with a little push today. What if we could put more advertising dollars? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Let's advertise and get the word out there for Yahuwah. The, the, the dark side's advertising to keep people away. We need to be advertising to pull people in. So go support us, tsnt.org, any amount, doesn't matter, any single amount. We've had people give $2. We've had people give $2,500. But I encourage you to give. Some people ask about tithing. Is it mandatory? We haven't concluded. If you said, Jay, pick one way today, I'm still scrubbing the scriptures on this one because there's one scripture that's pretty tight towards it, but it's not complete. But if you said pull one today, I said, no, it's not. Is it a good thing to do? Yes. So people have asked us, can we tithe in to promote the truth? If you want, yeah, we're going to take it and we're going to build this kingdom even faster. That's up to y'all. Y'all didn't know anything about me. Y'all didn't know anything about where promote the truth came from. For over a decade, nothing. We didn't say nothing. We just pumped a ton of money into it. We got the word out there. And a lot of what you see today, we believe is from all that work we did with Promote the Truth back from 2007 when the website first went up. So we just letting people know, we think it's a good thing for you to contribute just for you and your spirit and your relationship to this good work. If you think this is good fertile ground, if you think this is impactful, then sow some good seed in the good ground. But that's up to you. We ain't begging. If you don't do it, we're still going to be here. That's a fact. we still going to keep it moving. That's a fact. You can help accelerate things. TSNT.org, we love y'all. I'm going to end with a prayer. I'm in with a prayer. I feel led to pray for you. For you. Everybody listening to me, I'm praying. You, you take this personal. Yahuwah, I come to you right now, Father. For every single person listen to my voice, for every man, every woman, every child listen to my voice, I thank you, Yahuwah Ruah, the spirit that you promised to send. You said that we will receive power once the set apart spirit has come upon us. And you gave us specific instructions. So I pray for the person listening to me that they call on your name in such a way that they are immersed into your name. I pray that they are immersed that immersion comes from a strong desire to want to repent from going in the wrong way, from getting fooled intentionally or unintentionally, giving yourself the opportunity for Yahuwah Ruah to enter your body, make his home with you. I'm praying for you to listen to me right now. And I'm calling Yahuwah as witness this day. Let the person hearing my voice be reminded of this day in eternity, Yahuwah when you sent your servant to give them the opportunity to walk with you for all eternity, that you said you will never leave them, you will never forsake them. And you show me time and time again, when I've been pressed at every side, when enemies have been all around me and I've got spiritual knives in my back, in my throat, in my neck, in my toes, everywhere. Even when I was at a little strength, when they poisoned me, I can remember calling, I'm not gonna deny your name and you held me, Father, and you rose me back up and you sustained me. Even when I go through trials at this moment with the fire all around me, Yahuwah, 
And you know that you're calling them, the one I'm speaking to right now, to place your fire inside of them. Yahuwah, the immersive. John said, I baptize you. I immerse you with water for the repentance, for the forgiveness of your sins. But he said, there's one coming after me whose sandals I'm not even worthy to carry. He's going to immerse you, baptize you, immerse you in the fire. Yahuwah, I pray that fire over that brother, that sister, that child that's even listening back there because the children are going to come forth too. I just pray that that man, that woman, that one of accountability, 20 and above, I just pray that they call on you today and call on you in such a way to be immersed. I, I encourage them to go find some water in the shower, in the tub, in the pool, in the lake, in the river, in the puddle. Put some water on yourself. Repent for the kingdom of Yahuwah is near, nearer than it's ever been. Then call on his name and be immersed into his name and receive his set apart spirit. And all the things you worry about are gonna be burnt away through the fire of Yahuwah. It's gonna be gone. And you're gonna be happy. And you're gonna be content. And you're gonna know that the joy of Yahuwah is your strength because he's in you. Hallelujah, Yahuwah, for my brother and my sister that's listening to me right now and touch the children, Yahuwah, that's hearing this message. I praise you and I honor you. And we all come together standing here as one today, thanking you. In the name above all names, Yahuwah, the Mashiach. Thank you, Yahushua, for coming and then restore to your rightful places, Yahuwah, HaMashiach. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take that. Run with it. Y'all know what to do with it. Love you.